Hey, what's up guys? Marcus Bird here. And as you know, I've been doing a lot of promotion for the book I just released called Sex, Drugs, and Jerk Chicken. And I'm entering some new territory by doing some online book readings. Uh, this is the very first one and features a character named Tony, who is one of three characters in the book. Hope you like it. Reading excerpt from Sex, Drugs, and Jerk Chicken. Read by the author, Marcus Bird. The empty hallway downstairs was an illusion. Immediately, he could hear the meshed buzz of a crowd. People packed the small dance floor, and the DJ was playing some sort of drum and bass fusion. In the middle of the dance floor, twins in matching outfits were milking their coolness, raving and doing shots with girls. Tony went to the bar. Shiloh was serving a client. She had a Beatles-style bowl haircut, a shimmering silver top, and wore skinny black jeans. Shyla saw Tony and winked at him. I like your hair, Tony said. Thanks, she chirped. I cut it myself. Tony smiled. It's a very mod style. She laughed and started doing a variety of poses. This is the mod and this is the bod. She gave her derriere a quick slap and laughed again. Now about that drink, Tony said. What do you want, she asked. Anything is fine, Tony replied. Anything? Well, recommend something, Tony said. You like light beer, dark beer, mixed drink? What's your poison, sir? She asked. I'll try dark beer, Tony said. Russian it is, she said. Russian? Well, most of the dark beers here are Russian. Don't worry, trust me, you'll like it. Shyla reached up to the third shelf behind the bar, her shirt rising up briefly to show a thin line of pale skin. Here you go, she said. The beer was tall and dark. Tony had no idea what the label meant. It had a kick on his tongue when he sipped it. Gotta deal with some people now, babe. Just hit me up when you need another one. Shyla turned to two guys who seemed more than happy she was serving them. Tony took a stroll to the second level upstairs. A decent crowd was traipsing about. The DJ had switched to a tired selection of reggae dancehall tracks from the early 90s. Tony groaned slightly and sipped more of the beer. The twins were making a lot of noise, dancing happily without rhythm with their entourage. Tony made eye contact with one of them briefly. He made a beeline for Tony. Hey man, what's up? The guy said. Tony smiled and raised his beer a la cheers. It's me, man, Eddie. Come have a drink with us, the guy said again. Confusion flashed over Tony's face for a split second, but only a split second. Eddie, of course, Tony said. They had a small table near the rear of the club. Twin number two is named Eric. Eddie gave an excited introduction to his brother, who immediately waved to a nearby attendant. A fresh glass appeared, and Tony had a drink thrust into his hand. What's this? Tony asked. Never mind that, Eric said. Whatever it was, it was strong. The Russian bear and the twin surprise were starting to have an effect. Both twins seemed like cool guys both at the club with their girlfriends and a few other friends scattered around. Tony danced a bit, feeling a slight buzz cover him like a thin blanket. Soon, he went downstairs past a row of mannequins housed in glass displays. Each mannequin was in a different party pose. One was dancing, the other doing a shot, and one was just staring straight ahead. Near the last mannequin were a group of girls. They all had a spray tan and a dirty blonde vibe. One of them was a splitting image of the actress who played the rock star in Strange Days. Tony chatted to rock star girl about the mannequin. She was surprisingly witty. Hey, I want to take a picture of you and Wilfred, the girl said. Wilfred, who's that? Tony asked. Wilfred is right beside you, she replied. Tony turned to see the mannequin. How do you know its name is Wilfred? It's a mannequin. It can be whatever it wants to be, she said. But you want to be Wilfred. And so it is. And the picture? Tony asked. You look sort of like a model, so I thought it'd be cool to catch the model and a mannequin in the same pose, she replied. I charge for pictures, Tony said. Rockstar girl laughed. What's the price, superstar? A kiss on the cheek, Tony replied. She turned to her friend and whispered into her ear. They both started laughing. They had really good spray tans. Just pose already beautiful, she said. Tony tried his best to imitate the mannequin. With a click, the deed was done. You have a nice spirit, Rockstar Girl said. Tony smiled. 
We're going back upstairs. You should come with. Sure, Tony replied. End of reading. All right, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And obviously, you know, if you want to, you know, find out more and actually read the book itself, uh, all you have to do is go to Amazon.com and type in Sex, Drugs, and Jerk Chicken, and you can get the book for yourself. If you have any questions for me, the author, hit me up on Twitter, at Marcus Bird, or you can, you know, look on my blog, which is MarcusKBird.com, and, you know, see my musings and, and follow up on my updates on the book and its progress. So, till next time, I'll catch you later.